Today I want to share with you 10 helpful ways in which ChatGPT can help creating uh, briefings and exercises for learning how to draw. This video is a segue from my video on a one-year guide, uh, one-year drawing tutorial guide. So there's a lot of correlation with that and I'll be going through that throughout the video. Uh, so it's basically an animal list that I asked uh, ChatGPT GPT to do, uh, weapon uh, design briefing, prop, vehicle, architecture, uh, interior spaces, uh, characters and locations, uh, and finally gesture list uh, as well as storyboard uh, scenes and a complex shot. Uh, we'll be going through all of those uh, throughout the video, uh, but I would definitely love to hear your thoughts and, and what have you used ChatGPT for in learning to draw. Uh, as well as if you do go forward with these exercises, what are your thoughts on, on that as well? Uh, so the animal list is pretty straightforward. So I, I don't even have like the, the uh, tutorials that re it relates to, but it's super easy to find on my other video. The link is on the description as well. I'll put all the links to animal drawing tutorials from the foundation group on, on the description as well. Uh, so basically like a list of 30 animals uh, to draw and it gives you a lot of stuff. So even uh, looking at this, uh, penguin is something uh, that I wouldn't think about, or uh, peacock, toucan, uh, toucan. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that uh, the best way. Um, so some of them I wouldn't think about, and 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 that's great to break out of your comfort zone. Even like a zebra uh, is something that I I think I wouldn't think about. Um, uh, walrus uh, definitely. Uh, CEO. So uh, a, a lot of those in there. Uh, so already really interesting to, to help us. Uh, and you can even ask uh, the program to create scenes with those animals. So like uh, a, a lion lounging uh, on a gra in the grasslands or a, a tiger stalking through the jungle or even a monkey playing uh, on a jungle gym. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's ideas. Uh, some of them will be worth sketching or doing like a quick thumbnail and, and seeing what comes from that. I, I would even love to, to see your work if you do uh, some of this. Jumping to the second one, uh, the X. I'm using basically those two tutorials as in inspiration for this. Uh, so like creating uh, real weapons and like mythical weapons. I asked it to create uh, three fan uh, fantasy medieval uh, axes. So it goes more in the f uh, fantasy way, uh, magic. Uh, so for example, like, uh, the frostbite with like cold uh, enchantment or thunder strike and, and, and so on. Uh, I, I find some interesting details like intricate carvings and of wolves and, and snowflakes. I think that's something that you wouldn't uh, go to. Probably snowflakes, but like wolves and, and, and some stuff like that can create a lot of storytelling. Uh, and it, we can even dive deeper uh, into this if we, if, if we want. Uh, this uh, asking more details. Uh, for example, uh, I asked to uh, if they uh, chat GPT can uh, de further describe uh, number two, uh, and and it gave me way more details. Like the edge of the blade is serrated because of this and that, and and like uh, the the handle is a twisted root from a tree that he had. Uh, already uh, pointed out. So it, it's really uh, interesting uh, to see uh, what uh, it can come up with. Uh, and we can like keep uh, drilling down and asking for more details. Uh, it can go to more of a cliche kind of description as it's uh, a statistic based uh, tool. Uh, so it, it can happen. So be aware of that. Uh, the second, uh, the third one actually uh, is uh, on props. Uh, so those are the two tutorials that inspired me to to look uh, more uh, for this. And, the, and 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 basically, this is a need that I have myself. Like I don't have a, a very good uh, imagination and creativity in some of this stuff. Like I don't have world worlds in my head that I, I imagine I can't wait to put on paper. I know some people do and I felt like even uh, envious uh, of some of these people uh, while like uh, 
doing my drawing exercises and everything uh, but basically uh, I don't have that uh, so this is a great tool to help me on that so I asked like for a hospital futuristic prop uh, for uh, examination tools so it gave me like a small handheld one like the size of the of a pen uh, uh, like a nano probe uh, body scan that is like full body one uh, one that is like the size of a, a smartphone so it gives dimensions it gives like details uh, and it, it's really interesting even to spark uh, your uh, creativity and and then you can go for forward from that I, I even asked like a, a, a futuristic hospital machine uh, to avoid using uh, radiation on x-rays so it's it's really interesting you can like pause the video and and read it uh to have full detail on those uh and finally uh can you make one of the detail the the props that you gave me uh as a handheld uh and and it also like converts that to a more uh handheld and it's touch screen interface and all of that so a lot of things that once again are going to be a little bit cliche uh, but uh, some of them are going to be really interesting uh, the vehicle one is basically like more uh, uh, fantasy based like uh, video game like uh, design uh, so this is a tutorial very interesting also uh, for those that know uh, Feng Zhu uh, design Feng Zhu's uh, school in Singapore uh, they also have one of the exercises in one of the terms asking to to build a, a vehicle that is uh, like in a post-apocalyptic world and that's basically what I asked it to do here uh, so like it, it's basically a, a large truck or bus reinforced and and like uh, sturdy bull bar to push through uh, things. The roof uh, has been fitted with uh, a built-in uh, gun turret. Uh, and, and all of those things, some of them you might think about, some of them will help you like the power generation and how it connects and, and how can you like do cut views uh, from that uh, and, and really understand inter uh, the interior as well as the exterior because if that's gonna be um, 3D modeled and put into a game, like how can that relate? Uh, and even like a game like Last of Us that we now have a series about it, uh, if they're gonna have like a, a large truck like uh, reinforced uh, kind of uh, vehicle what's that gonna look like um, and even uh, this is a translation to Brazilian Portuguese uh, but even uh, that's just to say if you are not a native uh, English speaker you can also ask it to translate everything that you do you can ask in English or even in your language and it will go I don't know how much detail it would do in other languages uh, but basically the translation is is really good uh, and definitely could work out uh, next the architecture so I asked like buildings for a small town uh, for a medieval RPG game uh, it's based on on, on this two uh, very good tutorials on level variations and architecture design as well uh, so it it gave some w interesting stuff but some cliche stuff as well I even asked like it to be creative and uh, innovative uh, but uh, it kind of repeats itself uh, from time to time so be aware of that and try going deeper uh, with the conversation it it's a chat so you can go back and forth and getting more detail I love that like it's a, a painted in a cheerful uh, yellow color this windmill so what that what would that look like like uh it, it kind of uh reminds me of uh zadig uh alexander de boyne uh I'll, I'll have a link in the description uh his work is very cartoony uh stylized so very vivid colors and and all of that so it, it's really interesting to to kind of visualize this uh in in his style uh, like a small garden uh with a variety of, of herbs and flowers giving a touch of color to uh, and life to the village a lot of interesting stuff uh it, it gets um to us and even if you dive deeper and ask like for more buildings that's where it can go on on a, on a more uh repeated uh, manner like wooden sign hanging like wooden sign uh, everything has a wooden sign or a, a, a thatched uh roof uh, so it, it appears a lot so be aware of that because it's statistic based uh, and it will 
uh, repeat itself from time to time. So uh, really dive deeper and ask more details for more description and like do it, uh, use it as a kit batch, uh, as if you were like picking uh, parts from from one uh, in the other and, and building like the, the thing that you want. Even if you look at this uh, four examples, and, and, and this is something that can happen. I asked for five and it stopped midway. So uh, uh, you pr if you tell it to regenerate, you probably lose everything. So copy it, uh, like throw it in a, in a Google Docs and, and go from there. Uh, but basically, uh, you can have like those four or fives or, 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 or even like run it multiple times and put together the beauty uh, that you really want to um, do. Next uh, is the, the interior. Uh, it's a teenager uh, room. Uh, so th that's based also on, on these tutorials. Uh, they are not focused on, on a room, uh, but there is also from uh, uh, FZD, a very famous uh, assignment they have uh, to build the room for a teenager that is passionate about something. So I, I asked it to create uh, a room for an uh, insect loving uh, person. So it, it's really interesting. Um, like it gives a lot of detail. You can like really pause the video and go through that. Shadowbox collected that this person mounted. Uh, also like the the colors of the bed sheet, uh, like everything is, is detailed, like a small terrarium and, and, and all of that. So a lot of uh, interesting and, and this person is also uh, sketching uh, and uh, after that, I asked ChatGPT to create a description for the teenager that uh, lived in, in that room. Uh, it went with a he, uh, but I think you can like dive deeper and make the tweaks to have uh, any uh, gender that you want uh, and really uh, go through it. I don't know any biases that ChatGPT might have, but as is, it's statistic based, it might have uh, have bias based on our society bias. So uh, beware of that when you're using this um, tool. So uh, like comfort and, uh, and practical clothing, even like uh, more of the personality and uh, sketch, likes to sketch and, 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 and draw uh, insects and all of that, meticulous and organized and a lot of like uh, details. Uh, I asked specifically some of those, like can you talk about like clothes and fashion and 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 what this person uses and 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 so on uh is an early riser uh and and uh, a lot of details that are interesting they can be uh really uh, cliche to some extent but uh, it can be interesting uh next is uh, an npc for a medieval game uh so I, I did the the other way around now i started with the character and then asked it to create the environment as well. Uh, so for for tutorials, uh, Foundation has some that I, I went through in my other video, uh, but also uh, I, I touched on that on the other video as well. Uh, Evan uh, Mel Amundsen has a great domestica on, on character design. Uh, and he's a person that like creates worlds in, in his mind. He even writes like the text for, for that. So it, it's pretty great to, to be able to do both really well. Uh, I, I find it really hard. That's why I'm, I, 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 I go to this kind of tool uh, to help me out. But he is like a, a, a very creative person, both uh, text-based and, and visually. So it, it, it's really interesting. Uh, so it's a blacksmith. That's why I chose to add Evan's uh, blacksmith uh, in there. Uh, but like very detailed in, in what uh, this person looks like, personality. I asked for a personality, how it, what's the role in the town, what, how it interacts with players. There, you can ask a lot of things. Uh, you can even ask what to ask uh, for, for, for ChatGPT. So it will create a list of uh, uh, questions. For example, I need a character. What what questions should I ask you uh, to create a very profound character or something like that? So that could work. Uh, if you can think, uh, figure out the questions, it will even do that for you. Uh, and the workshop. So basically what we did in the architecture design is the same. So uh, you can see even some of the, the things like uh, repeating um, uh, the 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 
hanging sign uh, in front of it. I can find it right now in the text, but I, I remember seeing it in there. Uh, but anyways, a lot of uh, interesting details. There is a video from Feng Zhu in, in uh, his uh, channel here on YouTube that he talks about when you're designing a room for a game, you really need to think about what it will also sign, uh, sound like. So if you have wooden floor, uh, what would that create in terms of experience for the player? If you have a wet floor or something, like in a Last of Us game, uh, once again, uh, what would that create in terms of tension if you are uh, like down to, to uh, up to your knees in terms of water? Uh, the, the, the hotel scene uh, from both the game and, and, and the series as well, like what would that create in terms of experience? So. Trying to figure this stuff out, I think it's great uh, when you are designing. Uh, the next uh, uh, number eight, it's about figures. Uh, so like doing uh, poses. Uh, those two tutorials are, are really interesting, but there's a lot of content uh, on gesture uh, all around YouTube. So you can definitely go uh, to that. Uh, so it, it was like pretty straightforward with some of those poses. like. Standing pose, arms crossed, like conf showing confidence and, and determination, uh, jumping pose uh, with both legs off the ground and, and this kind of stuff, like a yoga pose, fighting pose and all of that. You can even do your, the pose yourself uh, and try to get the feel. I, I think I heard that from uh, Ian McKay uh, in one of his interviews, uh, really doing uh, and feeling what muscles are tensioning and, and where they are uh, so that you can translate that to the drawing. So very interesting uh, exercise and uh, strategy to go about that. Uh, and finally, last but not least, the, the final two uh, are more like movie slash complex scene kind of uh, driven. Uh, so some of the tutorials to, to help with that. And basically five movie scenes uh, for me to study uh, storyboard. Uh, so a car chase, spaceship, battle, sword fight, uh, bank heist gone wrong. I think this is the most like creative and interesting natural disaster scene and, and, and all of that. And I even asked it to create uh, more details. Uh, so get, give some shot idea. So a close up shot of the fighters, it, it, it uh, chose the, the medieval fight. Uh, like showing the entire room, the layout of the furniture. Uh, e this description even remind me, reminded me of the fight scene on the first Par Pirates of the Caribbean uh, between uh, Orlando Bloom and, and Johnny Depp. Uh, they are really using the environment for that fight. Uh, so I think that's really great example. And it, it would be great to, to have a breakdown of those scenes and, and see some studio shots or even watch the scene again uh, and take some, some print screens of like uh, very interesting moments uh, to really uh, inform uh, what you're doing in there. Um, and, and last but uh, not least, I, I even asked one one thing that I don't have here that I did ask uh, ChatGPT to do is, is uh, give me some movies uh, to match this fight. Uh, it's not very accurate and it tends to lie <laughs> and, and, and give uh, wrong information in a very uh, confident manner. So really be careful with ChatGPT. It's wrong in a very strong way <laughs> and, and it, uh, it, it can almost feel uh, that it's true. I, I have some example here of the, the movies. Uh, so the complex shots will have a lot of like uh, composition, like density of details and all of that. So those tutorials can definitely help. Um, and design a movie uh, shot in an ancient uh, market scene and, and all of that. So it, it described a lot of the, the buildings in there. Uh, like a sign hanging above the door again. And, and it, it goes back, as I said before, like a small garden surrounding and, and all of that. But it has interesting uh, information as well. A variety of, of vendors, like even this was interesting, like selling on wooden uh, stalls or on blankets on the floor. So I wouldn't probably think of like the blankets on the floor. So uh, that that's really great. And a lot of 
paintings from like the orientalists and all of that can really inform when you're creating this scene uh and i asked like the movie uh list with some scenes uh of markets and and like gladiator the opening scene uh is a market uh in in rome and like it's not it's it's a, a battle uh, but definitely those movies are good uh for ancient and they might have market scenes uh kingdom of heaven has a great like cinematography just as gladiator is the same person uh the mummy and and and, and 300 also interesting uh movies visually uh and the animation the prince of egypt that i i also did a video about that uh, in the channel so great artists great art great visual decision so definitely a, a great uh example to to have and to study uh, in terms of uh, storyboard composition uh environment design uh and, and all of that so yeah i i hope this was informative uh if you enjoyed this video you definitely will enjoy the one i did on on, on prince of egypt or my discussion on on ai so uh check that out if you're interested uh and i hope to see you in another video in the future thanks and have a great day